Hope to cross one, two, three. One, two, three. So for seven months, we partner a group of interdisciplinary students, so four or five students from business design and technology, uh, put them with real life challenges that organizations that we work with bring in. One of the nice things that we were able to do through uh, C Accelerate is actually bring in two startups this year. For us as a program, that's super interesting because we're able to learn whether the methods that we teach can be applied to such an early stage startup and whether startups benefit from what we have to offer. And of course, the last thing is whether students learn from this and whether startups value what students can bring to the table. We are doing the project with a startup called Port6 and they are a human technology interaction uh, company and they specialize in uh, touch detection through smart devices. Project is basically to find new use cases for them that are viable and feasible. Our team consists of five people right now, so we have two business students and uh, two tech and one art. The challenges are real. Uh, these are real projects, real, real customers, real cases. The learning curve is, 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 is extraordinary. You, you take a team and, and you throw them uh, in the middle of a real life challenge. Of course it is challenging, but I think that is the, the, the point in, in, in the industry project. Things change dramatically. So, you know, the students have been uh, disappointed with the fact that it pivots all the time, which means that, you know, as a project, it's not a fun project, but that's exactly the startup life. And I hope six months after this project is done, the students look at that and be like, well, actually, I now know that things can change all the time. And what I learned now makes me more comfortable with these projects. I think that's one of the big learnings as well, that how can you navigate through that ambiguity and through that difficult space where you feel that you're not going anywhere, mm. but you're still going like really you're going somewhere, but it just feels that you're not going anywhere. A lot of organizations claim that they're agile, but like to really experience yeah. the agility of an organization, you should try working in a early stage startup where like iterating and pivoting is like, like a monthly thing, basically. Yeah. Yeah. It really demands to be the ability to learn quickly. And I think I see that with the students. So, so I further validate my kind of thoughts about and feelings about like, hey, it's, it's possible for, you know, any, any kind of multidisciplinary student team to get around to the, the essence of the, of the problem if they are able to learn quickly and, and work quickly towards it. The students had to kind of like lean on to that process to understand that this will work. And it's, it's work to see how you first open up and everybody is kind of like confused and, and trying to fit their way out. And then eventually, by trusting the method and the process, the things start to converge and, 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 and finally it's, it's there. It, it, it suddenly just, you know, clicks, it, it, it connects. Entrepreneurship should be like a driver's license. So it's not that everyone who has a driver's license has to drive a car, but at least someone has been given the opportunity to at least learn the basics in a unique uh, environment. There's a lot of untapped potential if we don't give people the self-confidence of you know, being able to do projects and supporting them early on. I wish um, they get self-confidence, that they take this experience and, 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 and keep to it, that they know that they have everything it takes to solve difficult challenges and excel in, in work life. The best case is also that universities become these spaces where students, organizations, individuals come in and are able to take risks. No idea is going to be perfect, but that's not the point. The point is to know where your shortcomings are in your ideas, and then at the same time, uh, giving the space to explore these risky ideas, knowing that they might fail, but knowing that you have to take these risks eventually to come up with an idea that is ready for the market. So what I would hope the students take away is, is the self-confidence or the, the belief that, you know, it's, it's going to be okay. Like if you just decide to do it, then, then you know, it's going to be fine. It gave me credentials to work in a startup environment. I could say that Oh, yeah, I've worked in a startup, uh, I've worked for Port 6 before, so I know how startup works, I know how, how it should be, so I guess it gave me a lot of confidence in the future. Showing these options is, is really valuable, I think, and, and 
that's why I would continue the startup track if possible. You come out of this course a different person. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> in which way? <laughs> <laughs> no, in a good way, in a good way. <laughs>